Hi, I'm Tracy with Martha Stewart Crafts. Today I'm going to show you how to paint and add detailing using Martha Stewart Crafts Vintage Decor Paint and Stencils. Our Vintage Decor Paint is available in a palette of 22 beautiful colors. This paint requires no prep work, dries with a matte chalk finish, and can be sealed with our water-based clear or antique wax finish. To get started, you'll need Martha Stewart Crafts Vintage Decor Paint in River Rock and Linen, some clear wax, our Daisy Petal Vintage Decor Stencils, stencil tape, a lint-free cloth, Martha Stewart Stencil Brush Set, and the Vintage Decor Brush. So now I'm going to show you an easy way to update your home decor by not only adding a new color to your furniture, but also adding some customized stencil details. But before I got started, I made sure to clean my surface by checking it for dust, dirt, and oil, and simply wiping it down with a household glass cleaner. And the reason why I use a glass cleaner is because glass cleaners remove oil, while some other cleaners can sometimes leave oil behind. So as you can see, I've already started painting some of these drawers with Martha Stewart Crafts Vintage Decor Paint in River Rock. If you look closely at some of these dried areas, it's dried with a matte chalk finish, which is what's really going to give it its vintage look and feel. Now our paint is a no prep paint, which means I can go ahead and paint directly onto my surface with no other sanding or prep work required. After you're finished painting your first coat, if you're looking for some more even coverage, you can go ahead and paint a second coat, but be sure to let your paint dry between each layer, which is approximately two hours. Once my paint is completely dry, now I can add some of my stencil details. I love this daisy stencil for my daisy stencil pack. So I'm going to place it onto my surface, right here. I'm going to secure it with a little bit of stencil tape. Stencil tape is important because it'll adhere your stencil to your surface, but also mask off areas you do not want to paint. Now I'm ready to stencil. I'm going to use my Vintage Decor paint in linen and a stencil brush. So what I'm going to do now is dip my stencil brush into the paint just a very little because a little bit of paint will go a long way. I'm going to make sure to dab off any excess paint into the paper towel. So I'm going to take my brush and begin swirling in a clockwise and counterclockwise motion. I want to make sure I cover my entire design. All right, I think I've got my entire design covered. So now let's look and reveal the design from underneath. Wow, doesn't that look amazing? Now I'm going to go ahead and repeat my stencil design until I finish all of my drawers. And don't forget, you want to clean your stencil by washing it in water. After my stencil is complete, I'm going to want to wait at least two hours to let it dry completely before proceeding to my next step. So now that my painting and stenciling is completely dry, I'm going to want to seal and protect my project with my Vintage Decor Clear Wax. So what I'm going to do is you can apply it with either a Vintage Decor brush or a clean cotton cloth. Today I'm going to go ahead and use a brush. So what you're going to do is brush it right onto your surface. And you can see in those areas that it's already deepening the color and working with the paint to seal and protect it. Now once your wax is fully cured, it's going to protect your piece from moisture and marring. So you want to make sure that you cover all areas of your surface. Now after your wax is dry to the touch, you're going to take a clean cotton cloth and buff it to your desired sheen. After about 24 hours, your piece will be ready for gentle use and it'll cure on its own in about seven days. Doesn't that look gorgeous? I hope you're inspired to customize your decor by painting and stenciling with Martha Stewart Crafts Vintage Decor Paint and Wax. To learn more about Martha Stewart Crafts Vintage Decor Paint and stencils, visit michaels.com or your local Michaels store.